So we're about uh, 20 minutes from the South Kaibab Trailhead. Gonna hike down the Grand Canyon to the Colorado River, cross it, come back up right into a trail. About 16 and a half miles. You can hear, you can't see, but you can hear the train of mules that just passes. But uh, the hike will take all day. Probably finish at night in the darkness. Start at dark, finish dark. That's kind of mine, mine and Mary's notice of a wren dive. So we've never been to the Grand Canyon before, and this will sure get us uh, get us a long day of epic views, I'm sure. So we're looking forward to it. First view of the river. You can hear it too, man. At this point, we're about four miles into the descent down to the Colorado River on the South Kaibab Trail from the uh, South Rim of the Grand Canyon. And the views are epic. We're just enthralled by what we're seeing. But at the same time, about this point, I think both of us, Mary Beth and I, are starting to come to the realization, even though we knew this, it, but it's, we're, we're starting to live it now that, hey, we're going down a long way, which we immediately realize we're gonna have to go back up a long way. So we still had about three more miles to go from this area to get to the bottom. And we can now clearly see, you know, the bottom section of canyon, the narrow section of slit canyon that drops down to the Colorado River. And we're starting to get a sense visually of just how deep that center section of canyon is. And we know how far we've come just to, just to be where we're at. So it's starting to get just a little antsy, probably in both of our minds, that sort of what have we gotten ourselves into feeling but we're, we're loving it. Don't get me wrong, we are loving this hike at this point for sure still.
just over five miles, the terrain completely changes, or the color of the dirt, clay, whatever, it's rusty red. You can hear the river much more vibrantly below. You can see it now clearly. I think we've gotten fairly fortunate. The river doesn't look at all muddy. It's got that green, green tint to it. So that's kind of cool. Bridge, the footbridge that crosses the Colorado River that we'll be taking soon, I hope. Another mile, I think, of hiking to get down there. Mile and a quarter, maybe. Going there. So excited the water is Welcome to the Colorado River at the bottom of the Grand Canyon. Now I just gotta get myself out of this. Now we gotta go back to the top of the Grand Canyon. Or I could just call the chopper. Or the mules. Wow. What's fascinating is that is, is the rim of this little slit of a canyon that you see from the top rim of the Grand Canyon. I don't know how far that is, but it's just, this is an enormous height. And that's just at the base of this, well, I'll describe it. It's, this place is enormously indescribable in size and scope. Good job. Just crossed the Skybob Bridge. And we're headed over down the river to get on the Bright Angel Trail and cross that bridge and start heading back up. This bottom canyon is magnificent.
crossing uh, the bridge on Bright Angel Trail. It's time to go up soon. All right, so we've just, uh, as you, you see the two bridges, the far bridge is the Kaibab Bridge crossing the Colorado River. We've crossed the Bright Angel Bridge. Now we're heading back up, starting our ascent back to the top on the Bright Angel Trail. We're over probably nine and a half miles into the hike now. And uh, so the epic views and the feelings of all, I think we can safely, at this point, those have uh, taken a back seat. And we're not saying it to each other and we're not expressing it out loud to each other, but I think both of us know we've got our hands full. Uh, we thought we had a 16, 16 and a half mile hike at this point in our planning. Uh, this thing is gonna be over 18 miles and to do it all in one day. Uh, so here we are, we've started our ascent back. We've got over nine miles yet to go. We think we've got just a mile and a half or two miles to Indian Garden where we get our next break and water. That ain't the case. So we got a lot farther than a mile to go before we reach that place. Uh, so the hardship begins here at this point. Certainly while we're not saying it, we're feeling it and this day is going to get tough. Coming up on Indian Garden soon, we hope, as we are about out of water. Over 13.7 miles. We're nine hours into the hike. Got uh, probably four and a quarter miles left, and as you can see, the bulk of those miles. Let's go straight up that because that's where we're ending up. It's the top of that thing. Starting to wear on us a little bit. Tired. Majestic views of the canyon are becoming less and less interesting. We really don't care about any canyons, grand or small. We did care for uh, many miles, but we don't care anymore. Got a mile and a half to go. Get 18.2 miles and all said and done. The helicopter leaving and just did a rescue on somebody about three miles back. A couple of rangers came by us so and running. The helicopter showed up about 15 minutes later. You can get in trouble in a place like this fairly easy, I reckon. Anyways, under a mile and a half to go. Thank you, Jesus. I can't see what we had a train of lights to start the hike. Some 14 hours ago. A train of lights will end it. I'm just amazed there's a little light there on the corner. one of these epic day hikes for me and theirs. Gotta quit putting us in positions where we could get in trouble. 
Well, we did it uh, rim to river to rim in one day, over 18 miles at our age. A lot of satisfaction in the fact that we accomplished this hike. Uh, but this is a hike not to be taken lightly, especially for people our age. If you want to do this thing, just make sure you're in good shape. Make sure you're prepared and know what you're getting into. Uh, we underestimated a little bit, and uh, there were some anxious moments, but we did it. We'll always cherish the memories of it and the satisfaction of having done it.